Hey, what's up friends? I pray and hope that you guys are doing well. Real quick, I just wanted to let you know that if you have a CDL license, whether you are out of training or you already have experience and you think JB Hunt may be a good fit for you, I encourage you to send me your name and your phone number. My email is moses at driversuccess.com or you can use the link in the description below. It's the very first link. It will take you to my website and there will be a form that you can uh, fill out. That form will come with your information to me. Again, remember this is for those of you that are just out of training and for those of you that have experience and those of you that may be interested like in um, if you are an own operator and you want to see if you can bring your truck to JB Hunt, uh, again, just reach out to me. Hey, what's up friends? It's Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here in Sulphur Springs. I'm being unloaded. And I want to take an opportunity to do a quick video on um, a quick video on logs, right? I um, I had somebody ask me about logs, so I want to see if I can explain real quick how logs work. The trick to understanding logs is understanding the 14 hour window that you have to drive and knowing that you can't drive more than 11, 11 hours within that 14 hour window. So I'm just going to give you the basics, I'm not going to try and and you know like going to the details of you know like splitting your your sleeper bath and all that stuff right if you can get this basic then you'll be good uh especially if you can understand the 14 hour window that you have and the 11 hours of driving so right here i have the log uh the log book right so uh whatever happens on this log book is the same thing that happens with the people net or with the eld right so as long as you understand this, you should be fine. So you have four lines. You have the off-duty line, which is the top one. You have the sleeper bath line. You have the driving and the on-duty line. Those are the four lines you have. Now you have to understand that the, the lower two lines, which is the driving and the on-duty, whenever you are on those two lines, it means that uh, that time is counting towards your 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 time your work time or or towards your you know like you have uh the hours uh that you have to where you do the restart the 70 or 80 hours of the week and you these two other lines that are on top the off duty and sleeper bath those help you preserve uh the uh, the 70 and 80 hours of the week right so the most important thing is to realize that whenever you are not driving or you are not doing anything that is related to that truck I would advise if you are somebody who has a sleeper truck go off duty I mean go in the sleeper bath so that you are not um, you are not eating go eating up your work your work hours right because as much as possible you want to preserve your time you want to preserve your hours there is a way actually that you can run where you never even have to do a 34 hour restart if you understand how to preserve your hours so going back to uh the basics anytime you come on on, on line three and line four that starts your 14 hour rule uh, your 14 hour window so you can only work 14 hours uh, you can only drive 11 hours within a 14 hour window so that means that when you wake up so for example an example you wake up in the morning you start your day right 
so you come from the sleeper bath let's say you, you come from the sleeper bath at six o'clock right you go on duty to do your pre-trip so maybe you do your pre-trip for 15 minutes and you start driving that means at six o'clock when you come on duty to do your pre-trip your 14 hour window of working has started now when you start that 14 hour window here's the the thing you can stay on duty for as long as you want i mean you can stay on duty for more than let's say for more than uh 14 hours you can be on duty for as long as you want you can even be on duty for 24 hours that doesn't matter as long as you don't drive anytime you come from on duty and you go off duty i mean you go on on driving that means you have to remember that uh you can't be driving for more than 11 hours and you can't also exceed the 14 hours from the time you started at six o'clock so in this case if you come from uh, the sleeper bath you go on duty at six o'clock you have to know that by eight o'clock you have to stop driving right or let me say uh, the reason why I'm saying by 8 o'clock you have to, st um, to start driving, maybe that will confuse you. Let me say this. When you start at 6 o'clock, you know that your 14 hours will stop at 8 o'clock. Just remember that. When you start at 6 o'clock, you count 14 hours, your 14 hours will, st will, st will stop at 8 p.m. So you came at 6 a.m., 8 p.m., 14 hours, that's it. Always remember that. Now, uh, you remember how I said that you can come on duty and you stay on duty. You can stay on duty as long as you don't drive. You can stay on duty past, uh, past 8 p.m. because you are not driving. But as soon as you come on line three to drive, you can never exceed, you can never go past 8 o'clock. There are only certain circumstances uh, where you can go past 8 o'clock, but I don't want to get into that to confuse you because that will uh, get into things like when you are using uh, uh, like the personal convenience or you are uh, something happened where it was like, I, I, I forget what they call it, advance something like where maybe you are in a, a maybe you are caught up on a freeway because there is a, an accident, there is no way to get off the freeway, right? There are those special circumstances but right now we are not talking about those special circumstances we are talking about the basics just remember when you come on duty and you intend to drive always from the time you come on duty count 14 hours and know that you cannot exit that uh, you cannot drive past that 14th hour as long as you come uh, on line three which is driving also remember that within those 14 hours you cannot drive more than 11 hours that is the basic and if you can remember that you should be good the other things will come in later but remember that so my advice is when you come on duty go do your pre-trip maybe like for 15 minutes or whatever and then start driving from that time you start driving of course you're gonna take break and like before you, you you hit that eight eight hour mark you want to take your 30 minute break so you're gonna come then you go off duty for 30 minutes come back on duty continue driving you're gonna maybe have to fill up your your fuel or get something to to eat you're gonna go on duty and uh, to show that you stopped maybe like to 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 fill up your tank or to get something to eat then you're gonna go back driving so when you start adding those times they sh uh, the, the driving time should not exit whenever you are on uh, driving that driving time should not exit 11 hours and for you to be able to get back those 11 hours you will have to take a 10 hour break a 10 hour sleeper bath or off duty break for you to be able to regain those uh, uh, 11 hours of drive time so anytime you come on duty if you intend to drive, just remember that you are going to count from the time you start uh, uh, your pre-trip. Remember, you, you have to count 14 hours. In this case, we said we came on, on duty at 6 uh, six o'clock. We know that we can't drive past 8 o'clock. Just remember that. And during that time, we can't drive more than 11 hours. Remember that. 
The other thing you need to remember when you're out there on the road, when, say for example, you drive, you get to a customer, go on duty for 15 minutes, then go to the sleeper bath so you can preserve your hours. And then after the customer unloads you or you do whatever you have to do, you come on duty for 15 minutes and then go start driving. The, uh, that coming on duty for 15 minutes is just to show that you are maybe like making a delivery uh, because of course you have to do like paperwork, open doors and all that stuff. So the DOT will want to, to know that you did something. So don't just come, you know, like uh, to make a delivery and then go to the sleeper bath. Because if you find a, a DOT officer that knows how to do a good auditing of your logs, they'll say like, oh, you said you were loaded, uh, but now you are empty. How comes we don't see where you unloaded? Because you only show that you are on, uh, in the sleeper bath. Always remember when you are off duty or in the sleeper bath, it means that time is not uh, counting towards your work time. So basically, you come on duty, you do your pre-trip for 15 minutes, you go drive. You stop maybe to get some fuel or use the bathroom. You can show like 15 minutes, you go drive. Anytime you're not uh, showing something to do with work, make sure you are in the sleeper bath or you are off duty so you can preserve your time. I hope that helps. If you need more clarification, uh, leave a comment or send me a message, Moses at driversuccess.com and I'll do my best to answer those questions.